Good evening, friends. How's everybody doing? It's been a little while since I've done Avaria Rando here, but I figured, you know, let's do another one. Last time I did this, this was a fun time. So let's do it again, right? I'd say that's a pretty good idea. Get our controls happening. So yeah, this is pretty much going to be the same settings as last time. Um, area shuffle, so it's going to be a fun time remembering where things are. It's going to be great. Um, random starting location and standard uh, standard difficulty settings, which again, who knows what that is going to mean, but let's just get into things. As usual, I don't really know what to expect. We could be We could be anywhere, but let's do it. We are in a save room somewhere. That is an interesting suit color, that's all I will say. Wow, that's a really interesting suit color. Bubble Mountain. Okay. Well, we can go get this. It's probably gonna be Varia if I had to guess. Yep, that makes a lot of sense. Oh my god. That's hideous. <laughs> what well, that one that looks that looks not great. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I think they probably want us to get up uh get up the side here. And there is a way to do that. You have to do a run from the save station, I do believe. This might be pretty tricky. You have to do that, I'm pretty sure. Hey. Rude. This might take a few goes. That's it. I'm gonna wait for Mr. Cactus there. Oop. There we go. Nice. We should be able to get up to the speed booster here, I do believe. Yeah, I don't see why not. Aren't random starts weird? They sure are weird. Okay. Yeah, we should be fine to do this. God, this Varia suit looks kinda hideous. It's the it's the darker blues that don't work, like on Samus's arm and legs there. It's just strange. Do we have some missiles? Good. Certainly won't be complaining about those. And some supers, also good. Now we should be able to get down to the wave beam as well, but we're gonna have to be really careful if we do. Um, because if you fall down the gap after, like, the missiles you get, like, before the wave beam spot, um, we would be stuck because we don't have the morph ball to get out. So that's an interesting situation to be in. Hmm. But I, we can at least get the missiles there. So we should do that. I don't like that guy. I don't like these guys either. They died of one missile, though. Probably shouldn't be using said missiles, we should save them for doors, but it's fine. On the plus, I suppose we don't have to worry about hell running this seed, huh? Super's there too. Now, do we go for this? That's gonna be a tricky jump on the way back. I don't even know if you can do that, honestly. I think let's wait on that one. I think that would be the wise thing to do. But more supers are good. Which gets us where? Hmm. Do we, we need like morph or speed booster to get out of here, I think. That's fine, like we can go back up and heal and maybe we even should get our missiles back. We might be able to jump across to the other side of the room here. I'm not sure if you can do that. Get rid of that guy. You can like damage boost off this guy. I would hate that if that's what we had to do. Uh, I don't think we can do this. I know you can do it from left to right. I don't know about right to left, though. Hmm, this is an interesting situation. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna say we can't do that. Let's save. What do they want us to do, then? Can we get out? Maybe we can, right? Maybe you don't need Morph to do that. 
thing is, it's really hard in Varia like this, because if there is an item over here, like, we could easily get soft locked in other areas. So honestly, now that I've saved, let's try this again. And we may well want to check the wave beam. I think I did that way too early, yeah. This is a tricky jump here. If we don't get it, we can move on, I guess, but... <sighs> I'd like to try to get it. Don't like this guy. Oh, come on. It's a tough jump. I'm surprised I got it <laughs> on the first couple goes earlier, like the second go. And now here we are doing this. Ah, jeez. Pretty rough, huh? They, couldn't they give us Ice Beam? No, apparently not. There we go. That's what we want to see. We didn't get knocked down by that guy, thank goodness. Alright. Now that we've saved, I feel better about heading back this way. Get rid of you. Never want to drop missiles, do they? Maybe the Wave Beam has the Morph Ball. That would be quite a spot for it, wouldn't it? Oh, jeez. That doesn't help, does it? Can we even get back up now? Probably not. Huh. <sighs> really good at this game. Yup. You go away. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about the missiles front there, because we have supers instead. Alright, let's not fall, please. Falling would be silly. It would be a silly thing to do, as would getting hit by dudes. Oh, you can just make it. Alright, let's see what this is. Maybe it is the morph ball. It's not. It's not even good, honestly. So I'm curious, can we get out? at this point. And I guess probably not. Yeah, I don't see how you would do that, so that is a... that's what you call a reset. <laughs> at least we know, at least we know that that's not important. Part of me wonders if we do need to get up above to like the room above the save room here. But I'm not 100% sure you can do that. Like, maybe with an awesome damage boost off the off the waiver? But that seems... kind of crazy for standard difficulty, so I'm going to assume we don't need to do that. I think all we can do is go this way. Can we get out? Hmm. No, I'm not sure, honestly. Guess we'll find out. It's a super door, so we can go back if we need to. Now, I don't believe we can get the item down here, but we should be able to see what it is. It's gonna shoot this guy to death. There you go. Wow. Get out of here. That's a spring ball. That'd be nice. That would be really nice, but we can't get it without morph. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe you can wall jump out. Because I know... Okay, we can get back up there too, because they edited the room, which is kind of generous of them as well. I don't like this guy down here. Everything is scary when we have no health. So we're going to do that. <laughs> is there a third one? No. Okay, can we can we get up here? Uh, looks like you probably can. Probably going to suck. Oh, there we go. Okay, actually wasn't that bad. Now, there is the one item down here. Let's go ahead and save here first. That up. Yeah, we can get back, so it's no problem. We should be fine to save. We have to be really careful with where we save at the moment, because soft locks are not fun for anyone involved. Particularly not me. Okay, a speed booster. Well, that makes getting back super easy. Nice, we got him. Speed booster. Hmm. With that, that's... I'm trying to think with what we want to do. Well, we can get back to where we were now, which is nice. We can go this way. And... Uh, but we can't get anything because we need morph, so never mind. Let's instead get up this way, shall we? We can go... We can take either exit here. That's just vanilla. Cool. 
Um, not much we can do in Red Tower. We can go up that way to another exit. Let's see where Kraid goes, I guess. It's going to take three super missiles for this. So it better be worth it. Also, we can't get back. Uh, hmm. Might be a mistake. Definitely could be a mistake doing this. <sighs> this is a bit of a tricky jump, but... Apparently I'm bad at Super Metroid now. Come on. Oh. There we go. That's more like it. All right. Hopefully somewhere we can get some super missiles. This... Mm, can we get supers off these guys? Do I have to reset? I'm glad we saved. We might have to reset. I think we have to reset, don't we? Unless these guys do drop supers. Yeah, I think we're resetting again. Cool. <laughs> this is an interesting thing with this, isn't it? All kinds of shenanigans. Oh, hello. Why are there two Samus A's? I'll never know. That is the correct place, yes. Alright, we need to grab speed again, don't we? Which means I need to do the... the thing with killing the dude in the room quickly again. Let's see if I can do it twice in a row, I guess. Nope. I'm bad. Alright. Can't win a molt. <laughs> That's fine. We'll wait. Give it a minute. It takes like 30 seconds. It's pretty unfortunate. Really does take a while. There he is. Jeez. Alright, so I guess we probably... Well, actually, we should see what's down here, too. That would be lovely. That would be great. I'd love that. Screw attack would be very nice indeed, but we cannot reach it yet. Open that up. I like opening up the doors as we go past. I don't know. It's just nice to not have to worry about it later. Alright, so I guess they probably want us to go to this exit? I'm not sure what else we can do. If I can ever get up there, which is debatable. There we go. Oh, these guys dropped supers. I probably should have thought of that, huh? Eh. Where do you go? Okay. That's the golden four. That's good, but... But, uh, that doesn't help us progress, really, does it? Um... Oh, they changed the, the layout of Red Tower, didn't they? So you can, um... Get up there. Oh, that'll lead to another door then, I think. That's probably where we need to go, huh? We can get a couple more supers. Uh, one's fine, I guess. So then I guess we have to go this way. It's good that we know where Golden 4 is, though. It's in a spot with a lot of uh, entrances, so... I'll... I'll refrain from writing that down. <laughs> Should remember that. Need Morph Ball to get up to Spazer, so that's fine. Do that. One second. There we go. I forgot to do something in my stream setup because I was a dummy. If it wants to boot up, please. There it goes, okay. Forgot to put my... Forgot to put my chat on my screen. There we go. Probably a smart thing to do, wouldn't it? Ugh. There we go. Hope they don't want us to do that without, you know, sufficient things, but it's possible, I guess. Really? I mean, we can get across, I think. It's going to be awkward, but... 
probably can. We could also probably go up to the other part of Red Tower. I'd rather go this way, I guess. Would I? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Speed booster kind of helps a little bit here. So this should be another entrance, right? I do believe so. Go ahead and grab that. Go ahead and run across. No, this does go to... No, they don't want us to fight. We can't We can't get to Fantoon, actually, thank God. Is this... A, no, this is the save room, right? Which I guess we can use. I'm still wary about saving at the moment, but... Um, the item down this way I think we can actually get to. And it is actually an item. So they changed that for this. If it's the Morph Ball, I would be very happy about that. Oh, that does go out normally too, hmm. Okay, this should be an item over here. That was extremely close. That's an Ice Beam. Okay, that's good. That helps, definitely. Now maybe they want us to go, um, up Red Tower, because with that, that's most certainly in logic. It kind of was earlier, too. Like, you can just kill them with super missiles, but that makes it a lot easier. I highly doubt they want us to go over this way. Like, you're quite certain you need Gravity Suit to get out that way. Or Space Jump or something, which we don't have. So we won't be doing that. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing else we can do without morph. I like setting the morph ball placement to late when you do when I do these area randoms, because it leads to stuff like this where you're kind of running around without it for a little while. It's interesting. Ow. The fish hurt. Why do they hurt so much? Oh boy. Thanks for the missiles. Not really what I was looking for. Okay, so back to Red Tower. There we are. Okay, I reckon we probably have to go up this way then. With Ice Beam, we could go back to Norfair as well. Um, back to All the way back to where we started at Bubble Mountain and get across that way now. That's probably a thing we can do as well. But that's quite a ways back, so we'll go this way first. Definitely gonna need some health, yes. That's fine. I hope. Hope that's fine. I'm not gonna damage boost because I don't like my health situation. We can get the main power bombs down here. Okay, we are stuck. Right, I forgot about that. Let's not save. I think that would be unwise. There is a save room just here, but I think that would be unwise, yes. Ice Beam makes this a lot more tolerable. I mean, that's also good, but also doesn't help. But I won't complain about a bit more firepower early on here. I'm just scared that we've softlocked now. I would not like, you know, being softlocked here. Because, you know, it could be a case of, haha, we went the wrong way. Because I have seen that happen in one of these I've done uh, off stream. Yeah, definitely not going to save there. Uh, we can't get the item in there, but we can open the door, so we will, because I like doing that. Where does this want to go? Hopefully somewhere of use. Oh god! <laughs> well, we can't do anything here, right? So we're softlocked now, aren't we? We ain't getting through there. Certainly not. So now I have to reset again, don't I? I have to go get the ice beam again, I think. Yeah, we don't have morph, so we can't get out. We don't have power bombs. 
Yeah, this is this is kind of the issue with this sometimes. Alrighty, well. We'll unmark the spacer. We'll go grab the ice beam again. Oh my goodness. There's apparently like are these like backup save files? That's kind of an interesting system. In that case, yeah, I guess with the ice beam they want us to go back to Norfair? Can't really think of what else we could do. That's what I get for not saving there, by the way. Is there anything else with speed booster that we can do? I don't know, maybe. Head on up if Samus wants to jump up there. Didn't get nearly as far that time. Alright, ice beam reacquired, very good. Yeah, I'm very much doubting that they want us to go to the right here. That doesn't seem right to me. Maybe with ice beam you can do something, but I don't think so. And I feel like you would need morph ball in like the next section anyways. Possibly? I don't know. Look, all right, fine. I'll save this time so we don't have to do that again. <laughs> there we go. Try to time it with the door there. It doesn't quite work out sometimes. Feels like it's a lot easier on the way back, doesn't it? So I don't have to stress about it because I've already been there. Okay, so we won't be going up there then. We'll be going down here instead. The spacer would be nice, but it's certainly not essential. I don't desperately need eight health. Yeah, uh, that one room in Norfair is kind of all I can think of here at the moment. Like, I feel like that's gotta be... If that's Morph Ball, that certainly unlocks more stuff. I feel like we really need, like, Power Bombs to be, you know, truly... <laughs> truly able to explore here. Ow. Yeah, so we can take the bottom path, but actually you need Power Bombs. Or we could gate glitch to Crocomire as well if we go that way. That's a possibility too, I think. But we'll head back down this way, I guess. Because with Ice Beam, um, it's looking like a potential thing. Although, thinking about it, fighting Crocomire is probably not a great idea. Did they do 40 damage? Why? Um, we have like no ammo for him. So it's probably not a good decision. No. That guy's just living down there now, I guess. You dudes got any health? Because I could use some of that. There we go. Oh, two shots, huh? It's less than I expected. Just be patient with things. Don't go too crazy. Don't get stuck in the lava, either. Oh my god. Why is everything so much easier on the way back? Like, I had no trouble with that room earlier. Alright, let's go, uh... Go save again. Now, I saw recently, apparently you can just do this. Oh yeah, look at that. That almost worked. You can, like, there's a strat to freeze these dudes. Let's try that again. Oh yeah, I'm a little slow on the mark, but I can see what 
see what's going on there. And if we can do that to get up, I will. What the heck? Knock it off. <laughs> oh, why did I shoot him twice? Why am I so silly? But that's the idea. Wow, you have to be really fast on that. That's bizarre. I want to get this now, just out of principle of the matter and practice, you know. There we go. Ugh. Although without, um... Without high jump, I don't know if you can actually do that. Oh look, we can certainly get up here, so... There we go. Ah, oh, I, I hit the jump button. Come on. Ah, it's gonna be awkward. He can come down. A, nah, he's not gonna come down, is he? Trying to get a run up, that's all I'm trying to do. It's not working. Oh, why am I so bad? This can't even jump anymore, apparently. That might work. Maybe. Never mind, I'm bad. It won't work if I'm bad, which I am, so that's a shame. Where did he go? Oh, that can totally work if we can get up there, which we can't. Oh, get out of the way! Probably all for a missile anyways, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. Oh, come on, it's so close. Oh, no! This is very silly. That is uh, less helpful. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. Oh, come on, where's the other guy gone? Oh, there we go, we made it. Now, is this worth it? No. Not really, actually, surprisingly. In that case, what the hell do they want us to do? I'm a little perplexed now. Yeah, nice jump. Nailed it. Do they really want us to... Maybe we can get to the screw attack? Even though, what would we do with a screw attack? It's a great question. So we saw where that was. Possibly... Well, you know, with Ice Beam, we probably can get her. Oh, that'll be an entrance, actually, won't it? Down there. That's prob oh, that's probably what they want us to do. They want us to green gate glitch down there. Are we going to go up here to heal? Get all our stuff back. There we go. Yeah, I feel like that must be it then. Go save again, definitely. Having done that silly jump. <laughs> Yeah, sadly, we have to go all the way round. What am I doing? What am I doing? Get out! I'm so... just... ugh. I'm not with it tonight, apparently. Alright. I, I still wish we could grab grab that spring ball down there, but I don't believe it's possible, which is a shame. Pretty sure you need Morph Ball to get it. Is 
Down here we have these jerks. He almost got us too. And we get to do this jump again. There we go. Save again. Because it never hurts to save, let me tell you. It's a funky looking speed booster too. Come on now. There we go. Let's go top up those since we're in the area and these dudes can help us with that. I don't believe the gate's gonna close on us, so it's fine. At least I've never heard of it doing that. I don't remember it doing that, ever. There we go. Why? Why do they hurt so much? That's unnecessary. <laughs> Good thing there's a health station right here. Hmm, could we get down to the um, lower north air entrance over there? Maybe. I don't know if that's the entrance that's randomized or if it's the like past lava dive section. It might be. Let's see about getting that screw attack, because if we can get that now, I would definitely take that. Go ahead and save again, because I'm just like saving a lot, you know how it is. It would be sad to um to die at any point, really, wouldn't it? I reckon we might be able to get this with some uh, ice beam shenanigans, but we'll see. If we can, I will definitely take it. Although... Oh no, we're not stuck if we fall. Okay. Right, you, sir, are going to need to be in a much better spot than you are. Come on this way. No, 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 this way. He's struggling a bit with the... Aw, come on. I've definitely seen him come out this way before. This way, friend. I insist. There he goes. He hurts a lot, actually, which is unfortunate. Oh, we probably are stuck, aren't we? Oh no, we're not. So that guy is not in a great position, is he? I just really want to see if I can get this now. No, no, the other way, buddy, the other way. If we can get him on screen, he might want to come down to here. That would definitely help. If we die, it's fine, we just saved. I really want to see if there's a way we can get this. Sadly, we're not getting up there without him, I don't think, but it's probably, probably not. You know what? Just kill me. It's fine. We just saved, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to say that's not a thing we can do yet, then. I would really love to get that. It might be, it might be a thing, if we're really lucky on where the dude ends up, so we can freeze him. But that seems, like, awful. <laughs> now, does this actually go to Crocomire? No. Aha! This is, at the very least, will lead to, uh, another entrance for us. In fact, I think that's all it's gonna lead to for us at the, at the moment. Unless they want us to, like, wiggle through the pipe, but that would be very stupid. Where the heck is the morph ball? It's been half an hour. No! No, I'd rather not. Because that still hurts us, right? Yes. 
Don't think that's happening. And we need Morph Ball to go that way unless they changed it, but I don't think they changed it. No. You know what, I'm willing to try to wiggle through the pipe if I remember how to do it, which I think I do. It's gonna be very dumb. It would be the dumbest placement for the Morph Ball you've ever seen. I think I remember how to do it, yeah. It's gonna take ages too. It doesn't help that we can't see either. As soon as we see it's not something worth getting, we can reset. Oh, this is so dumb. Oh, this is the dumbest thing. Is that a reserve tank? Yeah, okay. Energy tank, in fact. Well, I'm at a bit of a loss at this point. This is a weird one. I may have to bust out the solver soon. See what they want us to actually do. Unless they really do want us to get this screw attack, but what would we do with it? Like... I think if there's any, like, bomb blocks we can bust through that we've seen. Where have we been to? Unless they do want us to do something back at Wrecked Ship. Man, I don't know. This is weird. This is a weird one. This is a very weird one. do that to get around him. If we can get this screw attack, that'd be amazing. Oh, there was that one entrance we were thinking, wasn't there? Maybe we can try to get there too. Here we go, that's what we want. Get out of it. Get it. Let's go away. Now where is our jumpy friend? Oh, we can't see him, can we? Ah, crap. Because he doesn't actually move until he's on screen, I think. Oh, now he's down there. Come on. Oh, no. Um... I saw him for a moment. Nah, he would have to be, like, here-ish where we are right now for that to work. Again, just kill me for the health top-up. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is that other entrance. I don't think you need Morph Ball to get down there to, um... You know, the, uh... The, like, lower Norfair lava dive section where we were before, but I'm talking about, like, the other doorway, because that should also be randomized. And I feel like that has to be something at this point. Where did that go again? I've already kind of forgotten. Hang on. Oh, this went to Brinstar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's fine. So it looks like we kind of have to get all the way back this way. You can't actually fight them. I thought you needed, like, Plasma Beam to kill them for some reason. They're different looking pirates, so I don't know. They're usually a bit strange. Like the pink ones and the gold ones. Who knows? Out of the way. Let's see, I think you can get down here, right? I don't think you need Morph Ball along this path. Go ahead and heal our 10 health, shall we? I 
I never go this way, because you never really need to in, you know, SMC3 or whatever, so I never really remember this path. Looks like we can indeed get over here though. Yes, okay. And it shouldn't be a power bomb door, because it'll be a, you know, flashy door. Yeah. This has to go somewhere. Okay. Alright, now we're talking. Now there's stuff for us. I guess it's faster to do this, isn't it? I'm gonna immediately go check this. Supers? Maybe we should check the other entrance that's over here, actually, just for a quick moment, but there is definitely more we can do in Criteria, that's for sure. Try to be uh, conservative with our missiles, shall we? There we go. Let's see where this goes. That was cool. Where does this take us? Hmm. So that actually does go to Meridia then, huh? Where we... I'm gonna say we can't do a lot. No, we would end up, um... We would end up at the Sand Pits area, and uh, no thank you. I would much rather be here. It's kind of funny how we still only have five missiles, but 20 supers. <laughs> it's fine, we'll get more, we'll grab some. There you go, it's fine. It might be a vanilla morph ball, that would be kind of funny considering this is a randomizer, but also it's been a heck of a journey, and also I forgot that we have to, you know, get the boost through the door there. Yeah, I could totally see a vanilla morph ball here, that would be kind of hilarious. I don't think we need to be wary about saving, since we can still get back. Um, that's just the map area. Yeah, we'll head down this way. So we'll be able to get whatever's on the morph ball and the ceiling item too, which it wouldn't surprise me if they want us to get the ceiling item because this is standard difficulty and you should know this stuff, so... It's probably where it is, honestly. Would not surprise me at all. Missiles there, not too surprising. I feel like this item here has to be something. It has to be! I forgot that that was a yellow, uh, pink door, rather. Not what I was expecting. Well, now we can get the screw attack, no problem. That is definitely true. What else can we do with Grapple Beam, though? Hmm. Is there some stuff in Meridia we could do now? I don't know. Man, when they said late morph, they're not kidding. <laughs> hmm. A Grapple Beam, um... Well, we can get across, like, by the ship, but there should be another entrance there, too. I do believe. What a, what a weird, uh, what a weird start this is. I say start, and it's been 43 minutes, but, you know, it is still very odd, isn't it? I don't remember our, our last one being like this. Yeah, let's head back to the ship then. I guess we can save while we're there, because no no worries of soft locks or anything. We can get back to the to the left if we need to. Oh, they want us to get screw attack and then go to the first item in the gauntlet, don't they? That could be a thing. That could totally be a thing. Oh, look at our ship! That is stylish. 
That could well be what they want us to do here. Is go get the screw attack, then head through the gauntlet. For possibly a morph ball? It's interesting that it's still raining out there. I'm not sure what sets that flag exactly. Get out of here. That's still a power bomb door. This should be open though, or is this a power bomb door still as well? It could be. Oh, I don't like the crabs, they're scary. Oh no, it is open. Okay. Where does this go? Hmm. Hmm. I don't I wanna say we can't get anything? Oh, I mean, we might be able to get to, like, Mama Turtle. This would be a massive soft... Oh, no, this is a Morph Ball Tunnel, so no, we're not going that way at all. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Very intriguing. It has to be that. We have to get the screw attack. And then head to the gauntlet, I reckon. that has got to be it. This is, this is some really wacky progression, let me tell you. A little tricky this sometimes. Yeah, we go. Alright, so we kind of just need to retrace our steps here. At least the screw attack's kind of close by now. In, in a way, anyways. It's gonna, you know, dash through these dudes. Okay. Ow. Again, it's kind of weird going this way. I don't usually go this way. You, sir, are very in the way there. Oh, Samus, jump, will you? Don't worry, we can go top up at the health top up room over here. Assuming I can jump, which is, again, kind of debatable. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing tonight. <laughs> Get our missiles back, I suppose. There you go. Try it with normal missiles, I never do. I feel like it's... Oh, there you go. I was going to say, maybe it's easier with supers, but I guess maybe not. I'm going to be cautious and, uh, you know, avoid the pirates this time. get ourselves a screw attack with our newfound grapple beam. That is definitely a thing we can do. Nice. Hey, Flynn. Good morning to you. How's it going? Oh, let's just get out. Okay. Alright, now we'll go save. Just working? Fair enough. Yeah, doing fine. Doing fine. This is, uh, this is a seed here, let me tell you what. You may notice the timer, and you may notice the lack of a morph ball still. <laughs> Okay, so the only thing I can think to do with this screw attack is that they want us to get up to the gauntlet. That has to be it. Ah, 
<laughs> oh, come on. There we go. So it was this way. Such a weird, weird progression. I feel like this has to be something in the gauntlet. If it's not, then... And there's something else that Screw Attack lets us do. But let me tell you, I cannot immediately think of what that would be. But we'll think about it, but for now, let's just head that way. Because it's the only thing that makes sense right now. Pardon me? Alright. Open that on up. Well, I don't need to do that. I have screw attack now, but whatever. It's fine. Alright. Stop by the ship and heal on up. And then, yeah, I guess we have to do the gauntlet, don't we? Alright, let's see. With um, Speed Booster, it should be easier to get up. We should just be able to jump up there. Oop, there we go. Uh, I don't know. It's just randomized colors. It's kind of gross looking, isn't it? I don't really like the, um, the sort of darker blue on like her legs and arms. It looks very strange. <laughs> oh no, hang on, we can get out of this. There we go. It's very weird. The The default suit looks pretty cool, though. Oops. Like that, it's a nice purple. I can get behind that. But yeah, the Varia looks a little odd. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens when you randomize the colors, I guess. <laughs> What do we get? Okay. But, um... What do we do with that? What do we do with that? Oh, now they want us to lava dive, don't they? <laughs> I bet you they do. Oh my god. This is hilarious. Oh my god. Because we saw the entrance to Lower Norfair before, and I bet you that's what they want us to do now. This is hilarious. What is happening? Okay, we need to be really careful as we go out here. We do not want to get stuck. There we go. Um, okay. So we need to get back to... the Brinstar area. Which, of course, was back down where Crocomile was. Oh, which is back where Screw Attack was. So we are really just going back and forth here. What the hell? Yeah, I don't mind this green. It looks kind of nice. With the random suit colors, it's really about how the default suit looks and how the gravity suit looks, because those are the ones you're arguably going to see the most. I'm just trying to think of this. Anything else with gravity? Like, I don't... I think it has to be a lava dive, which is hilarious to me. With no health, mind you. <laughs> with which we can do what, actually? With which we could... That would get us to Lower Norfair, right? Where, with no... With no Morph Ball... Where did this go again? I've already forgotten. Was this to... No, Meridia was the other way. Yeah, no, we need Morph Ball to do anything there. This goes to Meridia. This goes to Meridia. Hmm. This is the Forgotten Highway exit. Did I save at the ship? I did, right? I hope I did. Oh, there's a save room down here, actually. 
Let's investigate. Yeah, just completely missed the save room. Good, good job. I'm not sure if there's anything we can do here. But there might be. So I don't think we need Morph Ball to go this way. This is such a strange seed. I, I love it, honestly. It's hilarious and weird. Okay, so from here, we can go down, which I guess we don't really want to do. It wouldn't really matter either way. And we can't do, unless it's they change this for the randomizer, I don't think we can do the plasma beam room here. That's not open yet, fair enough. We can get up, we can get to the sand pits area, or the, the sandy area, which is probably a mistake. Oh, come on now. Hmm. I want to say the door to the left here, it takes you to like the aqueduct area though. I think that's the case. I, I want to say that's always the case with this. Let's see. Yeah, where does this go? Mm-hmm, I thought so. Maybe they want us to do snail clip. <laughs> they might, you know. Let's give it a go. I did it earlier, the other day. Wait for our little friend to come along. There he is. Oh, we don't have morph. Can you do it without morph ball? I don't know. So we need to we need to like morph into that spot. Maybe you can't do that. I don't know. Just missiles there, but there is one other item we can't see. Hmm. Oh, they might want to. They might want me to do the mock the Mocktroid clip up there that I don't know how to do. Hmm. Regardless, we can try the sand pits. Oh wait, well, I don't have to do the clip because I have um, speed booster. Never mind. We can get one item in this. We might be able to get both. Oh no, you need more for one of them, I think. We should be able to get one item down here. It's an E-tank, okay. Hmm, thinking about it. No, we can still escape this any tank there too that I would like. I know, health. Can we get that? Uh, no, mm, I don't think so, right? So we can shoot that out. No, we need morph ball for that, okay. But the other sand pit, I believe you need morph. Yeah, you definitely need morph ball to get either of those items. So... I don't think this was, uh, the solution. Although, can we do, um, Spring Ball? No, we need, we need Morph Ball. Like, I'm trying to think, could we... Could we fight, um... Bot Wound? Maybe, but I would argue we don't have the ammo for it. That seems, like, super risky. Oh, yeah! There's a reason you, like, need it to do anything in, in SMZ3. Uh, I'm just thinking here. Like, it might be worth investigating that, and we could try the snail clip again. It's a chrysalis. Hello, sir. Good morning to you. Alright, we're gonna get out of this and go this way, and it's gonna be great. Ow. Ow. Out you get, Samus, when you're ready. There you go. Right, we can heal here, so we definitely should. It's going fine. 
How's it going with you? One more. There we go. All right. Why don't we save? I, I think I don't think we're soft locked still. I think we're fine. So we'll go ahead and save. This might be a mistake, but I'm going to do it anyway. You feel like your life's going downhill. What makes you say that? I'm sure you're doing fine, man. Oh wait, we don't even need to- I'm dumb. We have the speed booster, you dingus. That definitely helps. That was dumb of me. There you go. It's a long story? Eh, it's like that. Space jump definitely helps too. Well, now we don't have to lava dive anymore. <laughs> Uh, me. I'm a dingus. <laughs> no, it means like a silly person. Let me peek at what's in here. Supers and something. So well, I think let's conclude that's all we can do here, but we got a space jump out of it, which is fantastic. We have all these things and no <laughs> no morph ball. It's so bizarre. Uh, this is not the way we go, but I guess it can be the way we go now. So there must be something we can do at Lower North there? Well, with Space Jump, we can definitely do a lot more. Actually, yes. This is hilarious. <laughs> like this, we are an hour into this with no Morph Ball. It's kind of incredible. about this before, maybe one day, but camera's not really something I want to do at the moment. I just feel like it's not really my style, but I'll, I'll, I'll never say it won't happen, but not something I'm interested in doing at the moment. Do we want to go this way? No, I don't think we do, actually. That is precisely what I'm saying, Chris Lay. I never did say never. <laughs> yeah, and I'm glad you think that way, Flynn. I feel like for... There's like a lot... For like the average viewer, they're like, Oh, this guy doesn't have a camera. Oh my god. What? Not even worth watching. I don't know. I never really understood that mentality, honestly. I suppose it can be kind of... You know, maybe some people don't like listening to a disembodied voice and, you know not knowing what the person looks like and all that, but it's never really bothered me, so I don't know. Uh, we want to go this way now. Watch a lot of people that have no cam. Yeah, fair enough. Come on. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> I'm probably a dashing version of you. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you look like either, so I cannot confirm or deny that statement. 
I definitely am not the rock. That is that is definitely not true. <laughs> No one wants to see you? Now that is definitely not true, Flynn. Okay, so... <laughs> More than that. More than that, Flynn. Come on now. Give yourself some credit. <laughs> oh yeah, fair enough, Chris Lay. Alright. What? I mean, there's definitely some stuff we can do here. Go ahead and save as well. Could we possibly fight... I would hate to fight Golden Tarzo with what we've got right now, that's a terrible idea. We could get to him though, we can gate glitch to get to that area. Yeah, it sounds like a terrible idea. But like, if the Morph Ball's there or something, like, oh my god. Oh wait, is this a... It's a Power Bomb block, isn't it? I don't think we can get up here, either. Hmm, hmm, maybe we can't do anything here? You just settle for talking to a ghost. Hey, it's fine. Like I said, maybe one day, but not something I'm interested in doing at the moment. I think, yeah, because this is Mickey Mouse room and you need, yeah, those are those are full blocks there, so we can't do that either. Cool, no worries, Flynn. <sighs> so, we don't have Morph Ball to activate, um, the statue, so we can't do anything here then. Now I'm stumped a little bit. Hmm. Space jump. I guess they did want us to fight, um... Unless they did want us to fight Botwoon. We have 20 supers, maybe we could do it. Can't do anything there. Well, I mean, sure you can. There's, there's no reason you can't. It's, you know, it's not like a, a rule written in blood that says you need to... You must stream with a camera, because that's definitely not the case. I think, you know, just a lot of people do, and it's the more popular... the more popular way to stream, but... It is by no means, you know, required. What was back this way? This went back towards... Crate and stuff, and Red Tower, which went to which went to wrecked ship. Or oh, with space, mm, with space jump, we might be able to do something there now. You stream from your phone sometimes. You're wondering how do people stream with no camera? You don't think you could sit in front of your camera and just play video games all day? I mean, that's one way to look at how streamers stream, you know? That being said, you know, like, I think for me, I, streaming's just a fun, you know, it's fun to hang out with you guys. That's kind of what I'm thinking of it as, and you know, playing a game in the process. That's true, yeah, totally. That's another thing for it, too. You're right. I think we might be able to get this way. Hmm. 
I mean, that is precisely what I'm doing. There's a reason I'm not affiliate. <laughs> This went towards wrecked ship, right? I was... Oh, no, we can't. I was going to say maybe we can do um, X-Ray, but no, we don't have Morph Ball to use power bombs. Up there is... Is that the X-Ray? I think that was the X-Ray, which is funny. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, it's just fun to hang out with you guys, because, you know, I appreciate you all being here and chatting away about whatever you feel like chatting about, you know. So yeah, I guess we have to go this way. I, maybe you don't need Morph Ball to go this way then. No, maybe you don't. We'll find out. The thing is, I don't know where this could go that would be helpful at this point. Maybe like the other side of Green Brinstar. That that might be something. That would that would definitely be something, actually. So let's see here. Grab some more health back. Oh, they put platforms there. I didn't know they did that. So we could have gone this way a while back then, potentially. Varia adding their things that I don't know about. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Maybe not, huh? No, this looks a bit like a no to me. <sighs> okay. Unless one of them's bomb blocks? Yeah, don't we all wish this was over soon, let me tell you what. Things were pretty good down here where I am for a little while, like, we actually didn't really have many cases, but now they've started coming back up again for the past, like, couple months or so, and it's just back to being lame, you know? And it sucks. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I figured you meant something like that, it's fine. <laughs> I'm kind of stumped now. Like, potentially we could fight Botwoon. Which means potentially we could even fight Dragon, right? You don't need the Morph Ball for, for... No, you don't need the Morph Ball for Dragon, I don't think. We just saved there. With 20... I mean, 20 supers, it's a bit sketchy, but we could do it. And we couldn't do any... Where did... Where did that go again? Honestly, I'm just gonna do this, because... <laughs> probably isn't going to be a PB anyway, so... Because we're still soft-locked here. Yeah, it's definitely not fun. can certainly agree with you on that one. But we gotta do it. We want to get through it, we got to do it. I can't remember where this went now. Oh, this was to Meridia, wasn't it? No, this was to here, where we still can't do anything, because we don't have Morph Ball. Damn right, okay, well, that's why we did that. Struggling to think of things here. I guess we ha do we have to fight Botswoon? Maybe. I don't know. I guess we can. That 
that's good, yeah. Um, this way, right? Yes. We want to go... I need to remember the way we went now. Back to Criteria. Just back down this way. That's it. Gotta be... Might as well just hang out on Twitch all the time, hey. Nothing else going on right now. This is the one that went to Brinstar, right? Wait, I've, I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Yes, I have. Whoops. We don't want to go this way, we want to go to the other entrance. I am being silly and forgetting where things are, that's okay. So in fact we want to be going back this way and I didn't have to do, to do any of that stuff, it's fine. Yeah, absolutely. We're all friends around here. Is there anything else here? No, we need Morph Ball. God, where is the Morph Ball? This is insane. I, I could, I could see that too, yeah. really want us to fight Botwoon with this much ammo? Maybe they do. We can do, we could do Dragon though, because Grapple Beam would make that easier. I think we should have the health for that too. Go ahead and save over here. this. I guess we have to fight Botwoon. I really can't think of anything else. Aw. Let's try not to hit the hit the wall there. That's alright, we can just kinda go along here. Much easier with space jump, isn't it? This is going to be a tough fight because we don't have charge beams, so we're going to have to be... We're going to have to hit with all of our supers, I think. Which is kind of ludicrous that this is what we have to do here, but I assume this is what we have to do. Oh no, no, definitely don't think that. You know, there's, you know, folks around, folks on Twitch are always you know, nice and willing to, willing to cheer folks up. At least I know I certainly am. Okay. 
All right, let's give this a go. Let's use all the normal missiles first. If we catch him stationary like that... I appreciate it. You know, like I'm always saying, if I'm if I'm able to, you know, entertain folks for a while, it's really what I'm doing this for, you know? Are we just going to wait for him to be stationary, I think, because I don't want to miss. That was good. Does he stop when he does this? When he's fast? I don't know. Or maybe he doesn't. Okay. Gonna need to be the best shot in the world here. That was not it. That's, yeah, 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 I mean, I think I'm not the kind of person to be in a bad mood very often, so. Oh, this is silly, how are we going to do this? Oh. oh, he must be one away. Okay, when he comes out, is it the same pattern? might be. When he comes out of that one, the, 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 that one up there. Ah, come on. Oh yeah, fair enough. Now he's never going to do it, is he? Nope, he does not want to come out that one hole. This is very stupid. <laughs> okay, it's not the same pattern either. This is dumb. I just have to go for it. Hey! <laughs> oh! That was a shot right there. Oh my god. Whew. <laughs> That's so dumb. Like, why? Why are they making us do this? Alright, let's get these supers back. So we're gonna, probably gonna need them. a minute, folks. Alright. <laughs> What's up, man? What'd you do? Is everything okay there? Hey, I appreciate it, but like, what's up? <laughs> Definitely want to save here.
It's fine, I don't even mind, honestly. People can swear. It's not my thing, but I don't mind if people do. <laughs> this is absurd. Where's the Morph Ball? It's probably going to be on Dragon at this rate, isn't it? This is insane. You're back, Flynn. So I guess, uh, do we have the health to do the grapple beam method? We're gonna try, I guess. We sure are. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. In fact, I think we kind of have to, don't we? Because we don't have the ammo for it otherwise. Well, we'll see if this works, I guess. Oh, she doesn't actually damage you till she gets to the top. That's right. Okay, this should be fine then. Assuming I don't mess it up. Okay, she does hurt a little bit. There we go. Who needs a morph ball, right? <laughs> morph balls, this is like a trash item, honestly. Like, you know, they're not even required. Yeah, right? <laughs> Where's the morph ball? <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Well, we can get to the plasma beam room now. That's what that unlocks. I think we need Morph to go to take the shortcut. I'm not certain of that, but I think we do. Go ahead and save again. Then we can find out. This seat has been Super Metroid, the epic search for the Morph Ball, which I never thought I would say. But here we are. <laughs> this is absurd. Alright, I feel like you do need Morph Ball to go through here, but let's find out. Maybe you don't, because that would be kind of nice if you don't. Can we go along the top? Uh, the answer appears to be yes. Ah, uh, you tricky game, we can't, can we? Alright, never mind. Chris Lee with the host. Thank you, man. And those supers we can't get. Okay, so we have to go back around this way then. the morph ball gonna be on the plasma beam because that would be all kinds of absurd but it could be at this point Okay, so we can get up here. Alright, let's see. We have screw attack, so we can do this. How 
how do you get partnered with Twitch? Um, you need, I think it's, well, it's 75 average viewers, which is a lot. <laughs> um, you need to have streamed on like 20 different days in a month or something and streamed for a certain number of hours. The tough part is the average viewers, as I'm sure you can imagine. Because 75 is a lot. <laughs> Oh my god! That is absurd. Holy crap. That's... that is crazy. That is the... that is the most epic journey for the Morph Ball I've ever seen. Holy crap. <laughs> That's incredible. You say it's just 75 people, but that is a lot, man. You need to have 75 people in your stream. Like... All the time, basically, is what that means. That's a lot of people. <laughs> Such ru I know. Just insane. But now we can do things, my god. So, the question is, where do we want to go now? Um... I guess we could head back and do, like, normal... Normal Meridia now, if we want. We go via Cactus Alley here and get back that way. Let's do that, why not? That is insane. Like... It took us an hour and a half to get the Morph Ball. Like, holy crap, that is ridiculous, and I kind of love it. <laughs> it's just absolutely crazy. Oh, we don't have bombs, though. Okay, we might be able to do this. I, do, I know we have uh, supers, but I don't want to use them. We should be able to do this, though. There you go. Oh, we can get the Spring Ball in Norfan now. That is probably a good idea as well. <laughs> yeah, just a casual 73 more, like, regular viewers. Yeah, no problem. Hey, Chris Lay. <laughs> Yeah, and it, hey, that does still happen, but you remember, it has to be on a regular basis. Like, it needs to be... It needs to be 75 viewers across the, like... Across the month that you've streamed or whatever, so... It's very difficult. There's a reason that, you know, n not everybody's a partner. <laughs> Is this a warp here? Okay. Um... I wasn't really expecting this, but we can probably do it. Difficult, but achievable, yeah. Uh, three average viewers is for affiliate. For partner, it's 75. hate when that happens. Gotcha. Most violent Nintendo death that we'll be skipping. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's kind of understandable. If you haven't really done any streaming on Twitch yourself, then you probably wouldn't know all the... all the... all the rules and whatnot. So 
this is just gonna go to the proper Maya area, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. There's stuff we can get here. We can get everything here, in fact, so let's do it. More power bombs are definitely good. That's fine. We should be able to gate glitch through here, which will probably speed. It doesn't really matter which way we go, I guess, but I like doing it this way. There you go. <laughs> hey, fair enough. That's fun too. Although, hey, if you do ever, like, if you ever, you know, stream something, I'd, I'd come hang out. That would be cool. Like, I know you play a lot of Mario Maker and stuff. That'd be cool to see. Supposed to do the speed booster thing there. Oh well. Probably do it on the way out for style points. Gonna wait on the lava. Ah, oh, missed it. Yeah, I mean, if you have the capability to stream it, that would be cool to see. But you'd probably need like a capture card and a microphone and all that, you know, which not everybody has access to, so. So this was kind of a dead end here, but that's alright, we checked it. <laughs> the glitchy graphics are interesting. We can do Spring Ball now. This whole section's kind of a dead end in a way, isn't it? Because we can't get back to, um... We can't get back to, like, the front of Meridia here. Hmm. It's basically, um... It lets you record, um... Let's you capture, as it were, um... What you see on game consoles and stuff. You plug in a HDMI cord to it. One goes in, one goes out, and you plug it into your computer, and you, it can capture what's on your screen. Yeah, I'm here for the health. Come on now, Samus. Yeah, we all love the quicksand, don't we? Alright, let us go. Um... Do spring ball now. Thankfully we have space jump to just get up here. Accidental damage boost, yay. Alright. And now it's time for a sip. So we gotta wait for this guy to do his thing. Water is good. Okay. He's kind of cool, isn't he? I like him. He's just doing his digging thing, you know? He's just hanging out. Me too. You can't see, but I am grinning at that pun. <laughs> yeah, we can get it. I forgot we needed to use these also. No problem, Chris. Thank you for hanging out for a bit, man. I always appreciate it. 
you have a lovely uh, rest of your night. And I'll see you when I see you next time, Mint. We can do this. Come on now. This might be the way to go again. Hang on. Gives you a lot more time to do that. Since we're on the topic, have you ever thought about uh, streaming yourself, Flynn? Or are you leaving that to, to be more Zai's thing? Alright, um, where are we going? Back up this way, I suppose. Yeah, there's not much else we can do. Is there? We have to go out. Okay. I think that's everything here. Uh, it doesn't matter which way. Get to see the DLC of Super Metroid again. It's great. stuff we can do now, which is great, because <laughs> man, we, we, <laughs> if that wasn't the morph ball, I'd be like, I don't even know. Like, Brin style's probably a good call. Um, this goes back to, yes, that area. That's fine for now. We can do, like, gauntlet and stuff if we want, but we can check what's up there, since we've already been halfway. That might actually be a good idea. these. Couldn't remember which side it was. Hmm. An E-Tank's not bad, but I don't know if we need it, necessarily. Yeah, um, uh, Bomb Torzo, yes. He, he is a dude we can fight. He's a dude we should fight. He's a dude we will fight. How do you feel about super missiles? Probably not great. Yeah, not really, huh? <laughs> I haven't gotten the mock ball out of that room in a while. <laughs> Keep forgetting about it as I'm leaving. Oh well. Alcatraz for style points. Um, where to? Uh, we can check the moat. That's an exit. There's also stuff in blue Brin style we can do. The thing up here we can do. That would be wise as well. worth it, but still don't have the charge beam, so it's probably worth picking up missiles and things when we see them. Uh, 
Right, we can finally bust through here. Get more power bombs. I will. I'm very okay with that. Goodness knows we need them. Oh, that goes to there. <laughs> I mean, at this point, we could go around and fight Fantoon. I'd rather go elsewhere for the time being, I think. And I'm already forgetting where this went. I want to say somewhere unhelpful. Actually, this is good. This is where this was, that's right. Let's check out Meridia, there's definitely some items for us here. Ah, just completely messed that up. Yeah, we'll get them, like I said. Still need a few. Let's head over to Mama Turtle, I suppose. And we can see what we need to do with the Shine Spark item. It's probably just worth getting, honestly. Hmm. There. Oh, there's also the upper section. Yeah, of course. Supers, good. More of those are definitely good. I swear I just can't jump off that. It's fine, we'll just go up. Takes a minute, but that's okay. And it's power bombs, good. Power bombs are definitely a good item. I like how you can just speed booster into that guy. Right, I said it was going to go up, but I guess we're here now. Let's check what this is. I like that they put a safe station there. There's power bombs. We could get them. Honestly, maybe we even should get them. Also, there's uh, entrances to, to check, too. Like this one. Hmm. That's intriguing. I mean, there's a few things to check here, so, like, why not? Oh, you're okay. That's a fair point, yeah. Hi, job. But also, you know, you, you don't know until you try, because I, I know I, I sure was freaking terrified when I first started all this business. And even before that, like, when I was doing Let's Plays, my god, I, I, remember, sa I remember saying to myself when I first started LPs, I was like, Let's Plays are cool and stuff, but I'm probably never going to stream. And now here we are, I'm doing a lot more streaming these days, <laughs> so, you know. Such a weird section. Do I even want to be here right now? I don't know, but I'm here. Yeah, why don't we just get that for now? Like, we, I'd, I'd rather not like to fight Ridley, if I'm being honest, so I think we'll just call it there. Yeah, of course. That's... that's the husband thing to do, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I know if I had a significant other who streamed, imagine that. But if I did, I would definitely try to be there as much as I could, for sure. You're the one with connections? <laughs> that's certainly true.
probably help to open the door, wouldn't it? That should be fine. Ah, oh, Lame. I got to open the door again. Yep. Got to be quick on the draw here. There we go. Alright, there's more to check here. I think there's another entrance down there, but we should go get the other items this away. It was worth it stopping by Lower Norfair for that uh, high jump, let me tell you what. It just makes life so much easier. There we go. I like the random save stations. Right, three things for us in this general vicinity. Like a plasma beam? Hell yeah! There we go. That's what we want to see. You can do this. And we've got bombs, it's fine. Next thing I would love is a charge beam to use said uh, plasma beam against all the rest of the bosses. That would be nice. But still, just plasma by itself is fantastic. <laughs> sure. They had a sale on E-Tanks, I guess. Ah. Yeah, no, certainly not. Nothing for me to feel, like, totally comfortable with health. Like, I would want, like, at least the whole first row, I think. Now we can see where this goes, too. Oh, okay. Um... We can go get that spring ball. We should probably just get that. There's a couple other things we need more ball for. What was on the wave beam? I think it was just missiles, so I don't think we need to do that. That was one thing I didn't like about Samus Returns too much, was... By the end of the game, like, all the enemies are doing, like, a full E-tank of damage. It just felt really, like, unnecessary to me. It's like they, they just fully expect you to get, like all the items. And I was just like, why? It's just... It seems so weird. That was one thing I remember that I didn't like. I need to replay that one of these days. I only ever played it the one time. Okay, so let's go get that spring ball. Exploding spiders. Hmm, I don't remember those. I'd probably remember if I saw them. Doesn't sound like a fun time, though. <laughs> there we go. That'll help. Uh, I guess we can check uh, ice beam and stuff while we're here, too. They're terrible. I must have blocked them from my memory then. Which is a good thing by the sound of it. Blows up on contact, takes a full ten- yeah, I don't agree with that. It takes like a full tank, it's just silly, like... Imagine if you're doing like a low percent run, like that would be horrendous. You just die in one hit at the end of the game, like... Seems silly to me. Yeah. 
head down here and check this one thing. Be cool if it was something cool, but it might not be. Are there really on- Oh yeah, there are, aren't there? There's not that many, that's right. Yeah, we can get them. Uh, do I want to go... Actually, yeah, let's head down this way. Because then we can get to Brinstar and there's a bunch of items there. Where was Kraid again? I think he was... Was he vanilla, maybe? I don't remember. We can find him eventually. I know we saw his area somewhere. It's fine, we'll find it. <laughs> All right, two hours in and we're checking Brinstar. Let's go. All right, let's go. We have plenty of power bombs for stuff here. I forgot to set up the timer with my previous attempt of this, but I, I want to say it was around two hours, so this is definitely a slower time. But that's okay. The epic search for the Morph Ball is what did it, huh? That's still just incredible, by the way. I'm not even mad about that, like, that's just so unique. Up we go. Plenty of supers, which I'm which I'm very okay with. Actually, we want to get up here, don't we? We can do the uh, trick with the high jump here, so we shall. There we go. Missiles is where all the missiles were, I guess. It's kind of weird doing all these early, early things with like all this equipment. <laughs> So that's a shoot block in Varia. I don't think it is in normal. That's that's an interesting change as well. I guess it's, you know, anti soft block measures, which is fair enough. That's probably why I got confused sometimes. But no, that's normally a bomb block. Alright, we need to dodge the pit of shame here. Easily done, since we can just do that. <laughs> So this is made by, I think it's a couple dudes, and it's just called the Varia Rando. Uh, it stands for Very Adaptive Randomizer of Items and Areas, I think is what it is. Which also happens to spell out Varia, so that's convenient. But they, they make like a lot of um, quality of life changes and things. Yeah, convenient, exactly. Um, it's like, you know, fixing soft locks and like, particularly with the area rando that we're doing here, um, just changing things so that you can get to a lot of areas where you wouldn't be able to under normal circumstances. 
Like making it so you can wall jump up certain things that you couldn't do before, like a red tower is a good example. I want to do the mock ball here. There we go. Um, or like getting up to like Bubble Mountain area and Brins, uh, Norfair rather, uh, is easier too. Like they removed the gate on the way to Red Tower that you normally would need Wave Beam to get through. Little things like that that you don't normally see and like changing certain bomb blocks to be uh, shoot blocks instead. Lots of little things like that. But also, yeah, it's just the, um, it's, I think it's like the randomizer to, to use for Super Metroid because um, it has a lot of um, different like presets and stuff that you can really tailor to your skill level. So it puts like a lot of different tricks in logic, as you can tell by the fact that we got the Morph Ball half an hour, or an hour and a half rather, into the seat. <laughs> There's the Wave Beam, cool. Still would love me a Charge Beam one of these days. Yeah, that's, that's still just incredible, like what the hell. Yeah, I can't remember what the website is. It's like random Metroid Solver dot something. I don't know. If you search Metroid Varia Rando, you can find it. It's got a bunch of cool options and stuff. Ah, this goes here. Cool. There's an E-Tank. Aww. Aww. I was trying to be fancy with the damage boosts. Alright. Well, we know the space is down here, so we can get that, which we don't need, by the way. But there's also one other item that I'm never going to forget again. <laughs> there we go. I can't believe the one time I forgot that. It had freaking Bombos on it. That was so silly. I, know, I can't remember. This went to uh, somewhere. I keep forgetting where it goes. Ah, right. I mean, there is some stuff we can do here, I think, so sure. We haven't been down here in a while, actually. You're free, yeah! Now you can kick back. Yeah, we haven't even been down here yet. <laughs> For now, <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, that, that swapped me out, didn't it? That's rude. I want Plasma Beam, thank you. Yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? Like, this whole section is a kind of a throwback to Metroid 1. It's a nice touch, for sure. Well, you know what? We can Shine Spark this. There you go. And we get missiles. And we get supers. There's actually a hundred supers in this. Wow. They really add a lot. Nope. Uh, it never has, actually. Uh, even in the original game, um, you can either equip Spazer or Plasma. And Plasma is just the better option. Absolutely. There might be a, a version where it, they made it stack. I don't know. That might even be an option in this. I'm not certain. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why they did that. I guess it's because, like, Spazer and Plasma sort of act pretty similarly, but... Um... Plasma's just better. <laughs> there is a neat glitch you can do called the Murder Beam. If you... There's a, there's a glitch where you can activate both at the same time. It involves, like, some shenanigans with, um... Selecting it on the menu and pressing A button at the same time on like the same frame and the game gets real weird 
In fact, usually if you shoot it, the game just crashes. For some reason I was thinking I have normal bombs. Oh yeah, fair enough then. So I want to try to do this without um, freezing these guys, because apparently there's a way to do that. We can just do that, I guess. That'll work too. We'll just do that, that's fine. I assume you'll be getting back to it soon on your on your 2D Metroid journey that you're on, no? Yeah, fair. That's good, cause it's a good one. One more day for the week? Yeah. And if you're working weekends, it's gross. What the hell? <laughs> so where do we want to go? I can't remember what goes where now. Somewhere went to lower north air. We definitely have the stuff to do that now. Always work weekends? Eh, fair enough. wasn't Lower North Air over here. No, that was in Meridia, wasn't it? Where did the moat... Where did the moat entrance go? Yeah, I agree. That's kind of a weird... A weird choice. There's, there's a few weird choices like that in this. Where did this go? Right, we don't care about that. That's fine. Although we do need to get back to Wrecked Ship soon. I guess we'll go fight Ridley. <laughs> We have 110 supers, so we can definitely do it. Although I want to say there was also one more um, entrance here that we didn't see. See, so yeah, I don't think we saw the, um, the like the map room area. So we should check that too. I'm trying to think of like places we haven't seen yet at this point. I'm not really coming up with many ideas here. Uh, not this way. Yeah, look, we'll go here later. Let's just check where this goes. You see, like, that room that we just went through there, uh, there's normally a, a green gate there. But they removed it for the area, Rando, which makes a lot of sense, because you could end up having to come backwards through the other way. That just goes to there. That didn't move very far. Okay, fair enough. Alright, let's 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 do lower north air for now. Assuming I can get up. There we go. Yeah, because otherwise you'd have to, like, green gate glitch. <laughs> Which is doable, because you can do it from that side, but... It would be kind of annoying if it was like one of the first things you had to do. Right, I was expecting to come back this way from the other entrance, but this works too. I can't even remember where it is at this point, to be honest, so we'll just go this way. Because uh, we've definitely got the, uh, the stuff to take down Ridley, so we may as well. Honestly, we can get to all the bosses, so let's just do it. Assuming I remember where everything is. And that's fair, like, Super Metroid is a really, like, it's a very, like, I, I don't want to say tricky, but I kind of do. A very technical sort of game. Like, there's a lot of really wacky, weird stuff you can do in this. And so that's kind of one of the reasons why I see a lot of people say, like, Oh, you know, like, I don't really play SMZ3 that much because I don't really know Super Metroid. I totally get that because even, like, some of the stuff you they expect you to do in, like, normal logic, it's really tricky for a beginner. Like, um, 
One of DeSutton's friends, I saw he was playing the other day. He was doing an SMZ3 rando. And it had him, um, he had to infinite bomb jump. He had to infinite bomb jump uh, up through Lower Norfair. It was gross. Like, he wasn't used to doing it at all. And to have, to have a beginner have to do that, I think is ridiculous. Because it turned out, yeah, it turned out the space jump was in Lower Norfair. So he had to do that to progress. It was, like, he was there for, like, I don't know, 40 minutes trying to get that infinite bomb jump. It's gross. And that's why I really disagree with infinite bomb jumps being in normal logic, because it's so beginner unfriendly. It sucks. Like, yeah, even for someone like me who's a little bit more experienced with the game, I still think that's gross, because it just sucks for new players. It's going to be like a huge turnoff if they have to do that. Because to my understanding, they basically have the logic where it's like, okay, you got the bomb, so you can infinite bomb jump now, so it's basically the same as having space jump. If you have bombs, you can get anywhere that the space jump lets you get to, right? I just, I, so I really disagree with that. It's so, it's way more difficult than it needs to be. And yeah, it's so time consuming as well, absolutely. Like, it takes ages, and it's just not that fun to do. Yeah, it's... I don't like it. But that's that's the way they're doing it. It's a bit unfortunate, because, yeah, like I said, it sucks for new players. Did I save? I don't know. We'll be fine either way. At this rate, we'll be fighting Kraid as the last boss. <laughs> That'd be kind of hilarious. Yeah, I agree. Or they should have like an easy mode or something that has you do, you know, not as many like crazy tricks. Like wall jumps, that's fine. Like wall jumps are a, you know, basic mechanic and part of the game. Shine sparks, sure, they're a bit more of an advanced thing, but they're also things that the game teaches you in a sense, so that's fine. Infinite bomb jumps, the only reason that, I think the only reason that that's even in logic for e for normal is because one of the, um, one of the little opening, like, you know, demo, demo cutscenes when you're on the title screen shows that you can do that. <laughs> That's it. Like, it's never explicitly taught to you in-game, and you never, you're never required to do it in-game. So, that's why it seems like such a weird choice for it to be there in normal logic for me. Like, by all means, chuck it in hard Super Metroid logic, but, but normal, it just seems so strange to me. Yeah, the other two the animals teach you, exactly. But they sure don't teach you about infinite bomb chops. There we go. I mean, I'm thinking about it. We are pretty much in go mode here, aren't we? More power bombs? Fine. I just need to remember where how to get to the bosses now. I think we might want to go exit um, through the normal way through Lower Norfair here. Because I think that's going to be a more convenient exit for us. If I remember where that goes, which I don't, but we're just going to do it anyway, I guess. Do it this way. Oh yeah, you said you were doing that. Yeah, cool. What's... I assume it only has like all the SNES buttons, yeah? So what, what games would you uh, play? What games would you play with it? Obviously like the SNES library, <laughs> I guess, is one thing. about it, yeah. But it looks cool. That's the important thing. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, I think we were talking about this last time too. Like, I've been using a, um... 8-Bit-Do SN30 Pro Plus that works really well. Alright, we're just gonna go this way. We will be fine. Eh, that's fine. I assume the door doesn't lock over here. And that's like mainly what I use for emulation stuff, which works really well. There we go. Uh, I guess we can... Maybe we can just do Mickey Mouse while we're passing by. Why not? That's a shoot block, right? Yes. And then that's a bomb block. There we go. <laughs> yeah, true. Fusion's great. I like Fusion a lot. I probably should replay Zero Mission one of these days. It's been a really long time since I've actually played the normal game. Might be worth doing that, because I wouldn't mind giving the randomizer a try. I just don't really... I feel like I don't really know uh, Zero Mission well enough. Okay, now hopefully this goes somewhere useful. I don't remember where this goes, but we'll find out. Oh, this did this go, this goes to Brinstar, I think, right? We can work with that, yeah. I think this goes to Brinstar. Let's see. Not a hundred percent. Blow through took you six hours to do hundred percent. Most oh god. <laughs> I need to- I need to try to go 100% that just to see the Shine Spark stuff, because I remember some of it being, like, awful, but it's been ages. I don't really remember much of it. Because I don't really remember Fusion having much of that. If- if at all, really. Like, there's some stuff, but not that much, I don't think. Oh, yeah? Isn't there one you have to pass through, like, three different rooms or something? Uh, okay, so from here, I think if we just go up to the elevator, that takes us to Kraid. Yeah, I thought I remembered one like that. That sounds awful. You have to store your Shine Spark at least six- Oh, that sounds disgusting. Oh my god. Well, let's just save because we can here. I know there's one of the quote-unquote sequence breaks in Metroid Fusion you can do in, like, lower Sector 4, where you have to, like, do this crazy Shine Spark storing stuff. It lets you skip the diffusion missiles, I think. But then you have to go back and get them anyway, I think, but it's some weird thing. There's, like, a secret message that the, the devs put in. I can imagine, yeah. Alright, does this go to Kraid? Yes. Let's go. Kraid's not the final boss here, but it would be kind of funny if he was. If we have him upon, like, the charge beam, that would be good to go for. Yeah! Also, the door to the left of the elevator is also vanilla, which is kind of funny. Hey, we did it. We killed Crane. There you go. Boss is dead. Good job, everybody. It's totally not in this room. Here he is. He's a big fella. Yeah, nice. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah, I never learned Quick Kill. I, I probably should try to learn it one of these days. That'd be a good one to know. I've never really figured out how to learn it. It looks hard from what I've seen. It's like a really specific setup you have to do, I think.
Yeah, I, I never learned it. Be interesting trying to figure that one out. Missiles, yark. It is very, it is very interesting, that's for sure. I like having Speed Booster going through there. It's very entertaining. You just take out the other three pirates on the way out. Oh wow, it's the bombs! Alrighty, that's uh, definitely a spot for those. They do exist! I know, so often you just don't find them. <laughs> So it's, so it's kind of kind of funny when you do. Okay, so uh, wrecked ship. We want to go this way. I wouldn't be opposed to finding the charge beam as well. Like, why don't we check the spacer up here since we can? We might have the charge beam. That would be worth it, I think. Yeah, they changed these to both be shoot blocks. So again, you don't get soft locked. There's like a lot of little things like that. It's missiles. Fair enough. <laughs> Certainly not. I have, strangely, I have more um, super missiles than I do regular missiles for some reason. <laughs> I'm so honestly, I'm surprised they give you that many supers in this. I think, you know, normally in Super Metroid, it's, um, uh, 50. 50 max. Uh, this goes to where we want to be, right? Yeah. Uh, we can also just check down here. I want to do this just in case it's the, um, in case it's the Morph Ball. Oh, not the Morph Ball, what the hell? The Charge Beam, rather. E-Tank parts are coming back. Oh, interesting. Was that in Samus Returns? I assume it was. I, gosh, I don't remember now. Oh, was that a thing in... It was something like that in Other M, actually, wasn't there? Was that, a, was that an Other M thing? Yeah, there you go. I'm not sure Metroid necessarily needs heart pieces, but I mean, okay. <laughs> if you say so, Nintendo. Alright, so, I mean, this is just go- go mode wrecked ship is hilarious because we can just kill Fantoon and then leave. That's true. I suppose we don't want another situation like Fusion where you end up with 74 max power bombs, which is way too many. going to not look at that, I think. <laughs> I prefer to go into it like super blind, honestly. I think, yeah, if, if there's a game like I'm super excited about, which Metroid Dread, certainly. I kind of prefer not to look up everything about it. I think it's better to go in not knowing, you know, everything there is to know. Super Missile Territory yet? We can try it. There's a 
super easy with screw attack. Uh, he was he was not a rebel. He definitely is next time. Well, that's okay. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know. I feel like even for even with like game mechanics, I prefer not to know some of that stuff. Like particularly for Metroidvania style games, I don't like it when people are like. Oh yeah, so you need the you need the uh the mega high jump to get this item. And it's like I didn't want to know that there was a mega high jump in this game. I'd rather have figured that out for myself, you know? Like I feel like particularly with Metroidvania kind of games, it almost feels like to me that there's like gameplay spoilers in a way if that makes sense. Like I definitely don't want to be spoiled on the fact that there's a, you know, an ability that lets you fly everywhere or something like that cuz it's like I prefer, you know, discovering that kind of stuff for myself. So that's why, like, I sometimes really worry when people play, like, those kind of games, like, blind on stream, because I would be... I would be so terrified of someone being like, Hey, yeah, you just need the, uh... the, the, the ultra upgrade to, to get this item. It's like, well, I didn't want to know about that, actually. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Alright, time to leave. Now, the question is, do I remember where the Golden Four are? I believe that I do. Yeah, that's true. I think the interesting thing with uh, a new Metroid game is it's going to be interesting to see what brand new things there are, because, you know, you, you, you absolutely are going to expect, you know, you're going to see the Varia suit, you're going to see the Gravity suit, you're going to see the High Jump, you're going to see the Speed Booster, you know, you're gonna see the ice beam, all these things that you expect to see. That's why it's gonna be interesting to see what the brand new things are, and that's why I think it's really interesting as well, because you don't know what the brand new stuff's gonna be. It could be something really cool that hasn't been seen in Metroid before. Oh yeah, it wasn't, was it? That's right. Alright. Now, we don't have max uh, supers, so we might want to use missiles on the Metroids here. Oh! Oh! They top you up when you get in! That's... I didn't... That's a nice change. I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> Thank you, mysterious benefactor of missiles, <laughs> whoever you might be. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about that. The, t the slow time thing. It's kind of cool. That's, that's one of the Aeon abilities, wasn't it? That's kind of cool, that stuff, yeah. Hmm, considering it's made by the same, um... the same development team, I could totally see them coming back, yeah. And it does have a very similar sort of look and feel that, um... Samus Returns had. Which some people might not be a huge fan of, but I think it's still going to be fine. It is a shame that it's not going to be like... a totally new art style, necessarily. But it'll still be cool to see. And I mean, we already know that Samus is going to look like... super different. I think, honestly, the most, the thing I'm most excited for with Dread is just, I, I want I'm gonna see, um, I really want to know how they're gonna conclude the story here. Because like they said in the E3 Direct, it had been like, what, 19 years since Fusion, so... Final, we're finally seeing the conclusion, to see what happens after Fusion, so it's gonna be really interesting, I think. Because Fusion definitely leaves things off on, like, an interesting point with, you know, Samus basically being on the run from the Federation, and now she's part Metroid and stuff, and it's just interesting. It's fine, we're not exactly getting a PB here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, is that so? Do you mean from a in-universe perspective, or from like, we developed this because we felt like it, or... Hmm, is that so? In-universe, oh, interesting, okay. Streamer, do Zebatite skip. I never learned Zebatite skip either. That seems like a tough one too. This is what all our missiles are for. I feel like we should have enough. We could go back and top up our missiles at the recharge point if we want, but we have 111 supers, I think we're fine. This is the scary thing about not having charge beam. It's like sometimes you don't know if you have enough ammo to beat a boss. We should be fine though with 111 supers. I really, really hope. If not, I'll be disappointed in myself, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, those, those pesky SpaghettiOs. We've got way too much ammo, in fact. Let's go damage ourselves a little bit. Should be enough by now. Yup. There we go. Metroid friend comes and saves the day. We've certainly seen this cutscene enough times around here, haven't we? <laughs> Yay, baby Metroid. Although it's sad what happens next. Spoilers. Yeah, exactly. Just wanted to help its mummy. Go, MB. Time to shoot you a bunch. It's gonna be great. Yeah, hyper beam. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, taste the rainbow. It's the Skittles beam now. <laughs> <laughs> now you can, there's a setting for the area rando which uh, lets you randomize the escape sequence if you want. I decided against that, I'd rather just do it normally here. It basically makes it so that you appear at a random map station and you have to work out your way back to the ship. <laughs> I'm like, eh, I'll pass. <laughs> that guy gets me every time. What the hell? Alright, let's not mess this up this time. Pardon me, gentlemen. 
good. Nice. There we go. See, it's not hard. Right, you know what? Let's go save the animals because we can. It's the cannon ending. We gotta do it. There you go, guys. Go, be free. There's the mock ball. <laughs> we gotta get out in style as well. No, wait. No, we gotta get out in style. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what happened. She hit... I, I think I did it too far to the right, and so she ended up hitting the... The, um, the platform. It was really weird. Alright, well, there you have it. <laughs> I do believe this was most certainly slower than uh, the previous time I did this rando, but eh, that's fine. This was very entertaining, though. Like, that entire sequence to the morph ball was kind of incredible. <laughs> like, what the hell? That was amazing. things up a little bit. There you go, the animals. Yay. She does like blowing up planets. That's a thing she kind of does on a regular basis, huh? Alright, this will show us where all the stuff was. I'd be curious to know where the charge beam was. It's kind of the one thing we were missing. And x-ray as well, I guess. But I think that was um, near the wrecked ship. We just didn't get it. see our stuff here. Yeah, morph placement late. No kidding. <laughs> I like the late setting because it lets us do stupid stuff like that. Two deaths, both of which were to um, <laughs> death warp, basically. It, oh, it counts your resets. That's kind of cool. I'm surprised Ceres is even on the list. Oh, the Rin stars are different too. That's kind of cool. Wow, they did not need to break down all the areas like this, but okay. Alright, let's see. This was the expected progression. Yeah, we had to, like, go back and forth so many times. Yeah, so after Space Jump, it's like, yeah, you can go ahead and fight, um... What's his face now? Charge Beam. Reserve Tank Meridia. Um... Was that the one in the other sand pit? It might have been. We didn't check that because we couldn't check it at the time. That's fine. Final time, 2.34.50. Considering the hilarity we had to do at the start, I'd say that's still pretty okay. Man, that was an amazing seed though, like, I'm not even mad about that morph ball, that was so wacky and interesting. I didn't like the fact that we had to fight Botwoon with... 20 supers. <laughs> that was a bit scary. But no, this was really cool. I do like doing these Varia randos every so often, they're fun. Let's see what our percentage was. 77. Alright. Fair enough. Not exactly going for 100 anyways on these. See your next mission. Indeed. At some point. <laughs> but yeah, this was fun. What a, what a weird seed. I enjoyed how weird this seed was. It was great. <laughs> but I suppose this is where we shall call it a stream for the night. As usual, thank you everybody who stopped by. I always super appreciate it. And we'll get to something soon. This was pretty good, indeed. I have an idea for 
another retro series I want to do soon. I'll get to it soon. Maybe not right away, but in a little bit. I, I have an idea for another... Another little retro series we could do at some point. I think that would be fun. But I'll think about it. We'll probably do a few more, few more little randos and things in the meantime. But yeah, for now. Take it easy, everybody. And I will see you whenever I stream next, which will probably be soon. Some, sometime next week, maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I'm just always random on when I do these things. But I'll see you soon regardless. So take it easy, friends. Bye.